and happy sunday guys welcome back to another edition of the rock hound channel folks my name is william clark and on today's episode we're going to go through all the steps again and show you how to take your materials to the next level now what does that mean well once you've done all of your process which means leading it from the cup of sand that you used and you brought it through every single one of your strainer steps now you're going to go ahead and go through the panning st steps taking out as much of the blondes as you possibly can as you go down the line your end result after all that should be sitting in there as you can tell this is about halfway dry now i've let this air dry the last uh, two to three days and this stuff here is from that bucket there and that is all super fines now what is super fines super fines is everything that you've taken down to nothing but the blacks which is what you see here that you see in the bottom there this here is unprocessed so Whatever was the coarse sands that you've seen inside your pan, okay? You've taken out all that. Now, all you should have in there is the very fluffy grains and the super heavy blacks plus your gold. So, what do you do after that? Do you turn around and go ahead and take a snuffer bottle and try to get the gold out as best as you can? You bet you can. A lot of folks do that. So do I. Now, this episode is going to go into what's next after that and how to maybe cheat a little bit. So, what I do when I've gotten to that point where I've gotten all my nice, you know, visible flakes, my powders, and everything else out of my material like this, I turn around and I'll dry it. So, I'll take myself an old cast iron pan put my materials into it set it up on a campfire and I will dry it or you can do the old way whichever you prefer so baking your sands there's a couple risks to that number one make certain that if you're going to bake your sands that you never ever put water to it to try to cool it back off set it aside let it cool for about 18 to 24 hours That'll guarantee you that the material is ready to be put into either a plastic bowl or something of a metal surface. This here is my little hidey hole jar that I just got done cleaning out because I had this thing to the brim already. And that's just from 2019, mind you. 2019. So, remember... 2019's cons has only been processed now we're only into like the second or third month into it so i've gotten it down to from i think i had like three five gallon pails floating around here to the top mind you to the top of one of those i have processed all of it so far brought it down to one pail this is all your heavy blacks your fluffy uh sands that's going to be unavoidable. You can't get rid of it. And I've taken it now to this. So this is now ready for either reprocessing later. Or if you're fortunate enough to have yourself a small blast furnace. You can now take this to a crucible. Set up the proper mixture in that crucible. Put your material into it. And you're ready to start smelting your metals. Once you get to that point, guys, then you can turn around, pour that material into either another free form. Um, I have those available as well that I am going to be doing within the next maybe few days. I have not yet decided. I just kind of figured for the purpose of this video to kind of show you what to do next. If you've already taken it, all your gold, separated it out got it collected 
and you have just that stuff that you just don't know what else to do with, but you know that there's going to be gold in it, you can now take this to that next level and smelt that down. So again, back to that baking situation. A lot of folks have watched videos on this and they have turned around and made some kind of, I would say rookie mistakes, but then again, you know, nobody's a pro at this. Um, biggest thing about this is you're wanting to make certain that your material is cooled down slow. That way you can take the material, put it into a collection jar, and get ready for your next setup of smelting. Uh, so as I've said before, once you've gone through all of your process, and you've taken it from all the heavy stone, your you know rocks, your you know big stuff, your pebbles, you got nothing but the sands. You can now take that, separate your gold, get what gold you can get out of it, bake that sand, collect it, put it into a jar, and get it ready for the smelting process. And I will show a video on that within probably the next two or th three weeks. I'm not sure just as of yet. Um, I have yet to get with my colleagues and figure that out. So until then, guys, this is William for the Rock Island Channel saying stay safe, stay panning, guys. I got a lot of work yet to do, so take care of yourselves.